Hi, I am Akin Kanizi, Creative Director for Hub Salons, and I am also the Digital Mentor for Weller Trend Vision in the Creative category. If you're with Weller, and even if you're not, the Weller Trend Vision Awards are something that I very much believe in and have believed in for the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years, since the beginning. It's, um, it's a fantastic opportunity for the individual, but it's also a fantastic opportunity for the salon um, to create a, a buzz within the environment. And you know, in most salons, they need a creative inspiration. And this, this competition is fantastic. It's the best hairdressers in the world that are, that are mentoring. It's a um, fantastically organized competition. Um, it's an incredible business tool for all of you owners and managers out there and for the stylists and technicians. I mean, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you enter it? It's, there's an opportunity for you to become a superstar. To maximize your chances within this competition or any competition, you have to think that you know you're entering it and you're not going to potentially win on the first time i mean why would you win the first time it'd be very simple to do that it doesn't matter how good you are you need to evolve yourself and understand the competition and understand yourself so you need to keep progressing and developing your skills you need to be getting good at finding models you need to be good at styling you need to be good at color you need to be good at makeup you need to be good at getting prepared for a competition these are all things that don't come necessarily naturally you may have a flair but they don't come naturally they take hard work and um, you have to put the effort in and the more effort you put in for the longer you put it the more likely you are to succeed and the one thing I've learned is it's great putting the effort in but can you consistently continue until you succeed that's where most people fall down they can do it for once they can do it for twice but you're not going to get anywhere if you just don't continue until you get where you want to get to so just keep going at it great models great hairstyles um, you need to cover and tick all the boxes for the initial category the, the way you can choose your model is to be photographically um, correct she needs to be photogenic she doesn't have to be six foot two she doesn't have to even be five foot two she needs to be beautiful she needs to be attractive she needs to have great hair you need to be able to do something that's going to make her a winner don't do something or find a model that's just about good enough because that might get you into third place second place or no place and what's the point you need to be doing your best so you need to find the best model so for the initial photographic entry get a great little model off the street if you can or if you can afford it spend the money and get one that, that's even better after that you need a model that can walk a model that can hold herself a model that knows how to smile a model that will let you do something that looks great if your model is not good enough um, you're not going to win the standard is, is too good but you know what if you don't win because your model wasn't good enough great you'll learn from it and you'll do better next time very much looking forward to the tour in May um, it's going to be Hob, and as always, it's going to be Hob with a twist. Okay, um, we don't believe in doing completely different. We're known for what we do. We're known for doing precision work. We're known for doing fashion, street work, and that's what it will be. And how we feel at the moment as a team is that 80s are coming in very strong, although it's still very 70s and 60s at the moment. Um, 60s, 70s, and 80s were, were you know 30 years. There's a lot to choose from within those areas. And in those eras, there were elements of there that were cool and lots of it that was uncool. So we're gonna take in some of those cool elements and modernizing them for today's street fashion. Um, so strong haircuts, strong hair up, strong big looks, but also that, that are pleasing and, and fashionable. 